But do you still think the royal family were shape-shifting lizards? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You do? Yes. You do? Yes, yes. You do? Uh, uh, yes, but the, no, it I doesn't. can see the point that you might have some... Uh, question 9-11. Well, oh, that's crazy. Well, oh, that's crazy. I read what you wrote. Yeah. Your words. Reptilian, these reptilians from the constellation Draco have interbred with humans and they are living amongst us. There are people like the Pope. You talk about George Bush, his father, the president. Yep. The royal family in England, Tony Blair. They take human form, but behind closed doors, they can shape shift back to their reptilian form. I need to know how you know this. What makes you think Bush is for sure? Well, not least because of the number of people, um, the ridiculous number of people who have told me over the years that they've seen Father Bush um, shapeshift many times. No? Didn't you say that you saw the Pope just for a second have his no. reptilian face? No, I didn't, I, didn't say, I didn't say that about any I, Pope, no. The, um, the, I read that. The eyes, well, you didn't read it in my book. I also read you said Chris Christopherson. No, I didn't say that. I was quoting oh. someone else. I have had uh, great inspirations of knowledge that this is how things are from time to time. And my prophets might describe something like that in a similar language, might y they not? Yes, they might. And, and, and they might be right. But um, I'm not then standing up and saying, uh, the Almighty has spoken to me, this is the truth, you right. must believe it, otherwise you won't go to heaven and these will be all the, all the consequences for not believing me. The life force known as the light, I mean the Bible refers to the light, and uh, within this light are various other energies which have certain gifts. And these other energies have a frequency that is the same as all the colors. Yeah. And the turquoise Japanese. actually is the same frequency as an energy called um, love and wisdom. Let me get the story right. The press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that uh, see, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. You know, 2,000 years ago, had a guy called Jesus sat here and said these same things, you would still be laughing. It's really, really funny that we've not really moved on that much. So evil has been in control of the planet for 12,000 years? So evil's not the right word. It is imbalance. Um, but it has been increasingly in control. As I repeat, survey the world, ladies and gentlemen. Is, is the force of love in control of this world, guiding this planet at this time? Of course not. <laughs> again, again, you know the best way of removing negativity is to laugh and be joyous. So I'm delighted that there's so much laughter in the audience tonight. But not, Just let me say this. They're laughing at you. They're not laughing with you. Fine. First of all, if anyone believes, after 12,000 years of this truth being lost uh, and forgotten, that coming out with it initially is going to get any kind of reaction other than that one or condemnation, then I would be a crackpot if I thought that was, that was the, the case. The other thing is, there is this great illusion, you know, that Jesus was born and stood up and said, I know who I am. It was revealed to him in stages. He was very, very close to beginning the mission which is described in the Bible, but not described brilliantly accurately, um, before he knew who he was. And when he came out, Terry, and said, I am the Son of God, I am an aspect of the soul of the Godhead incarnate because of things that need to be done on this planet urgently, um, people laughed, people ridiculed, and in the end, you know, they crucified him.